In this video, we'll continue to discuss multiple registration methods for scans. The first method for registering scans in this video is with split screen registration. Click the split screen registration tool and add one image to the left side of the screen and a second on the right side of the screen. Once you've located the spheres on the left, right click them to create markers. The same marker should be clicked on the right screen to create registration markers to be shared between the two images. The number of markers is illustrated in the bottom right of the page, signifying that there are three markers shared by the two images. Once satisfied with the markers in each scan, click the green check mark. This completes the registration between the two images and allows other scans to also be added using the same technique. The next registration method to be discussed is using a plane tool. This tool is useful when no targets are present in the scan. To complete a registration using the plane tool, right click two separate scans and click planar view. This brings the scans into the workspace to be registered. Place a plane in the first scan. When choosing a location for a plane to be placed, locate an area that has little variances between material, depth, or surface level, all of which may cause inconsistencies between markers. The plane tool is used on the surface directly over the door. In the second scan, the same area is located and marked with the plane tool. Once the area is selected, right-click the highlighted area. Select Plane to label the area. Another plane is located in both images. The third area to be highlighted in both images is the exit sign. On this plane, once the area becomes highlighted, right-click to bring up the Options menu and hover over Create Objects and select Mean Point, which will allow Scene to pick up a mean point within the selected area on both scans. Once the areas are selected, right-click the Scans folder. Hover over Operations, click Registration, and click Place Scans. The next method for registration is Top View, Cloud to Cloud. Load both images into the Correspondence View by right-clicking the Scans folder, hovering over View, and selecting Correspondence View. In this situation, the two images will be separated and registration attempted using the Cloud to Cloud placement. Right-click the Scans folder, hover over Operations, hover over Registration, and click Place Scans. Select Cloud to Cloud Registration in the top right of the menu. By augmenting the sliding bar, users can increase and decrease the average subsampling point distance. The maximum number of iterations is set at 30, and the maximum search distance is set at 10 meters. Because the two scans have been separated greater than 10 meters apart, the registration will fail. Recreating the registration with the Top View Registration selection instead will result in the scans being joined and the registration being completed successfully. Once Top View has been completed, the scans will now be reunited. Reinitiate Cloud to Cloud to have the registration run successfully and register the images. This registration will be successful as the scans are now within the required range of each other to be registered. In the third video in this series, we will continue discussing how to register your scans.